the impact of ph on the retention of uh, polarizable or polar compound is very well known into the reverse phase liquid chromatography we also know that in case of rplc the polar compounds retain poorly and non polar compounds retain strongly because most of the time the stationary phase is going to be non polar or hydrophobic you can imagine the like attracts like rule but how one can understand the exact ph value needs to be selected during method development for a polar compound it could be weak acid or weak base hi my name is bhaskar napte i am the founder of pharma growth hub and in today's discussion we will try to understand how the henderson hasselbalch equation can be used to determine the percent ionization of the compound followed by how one can predict the possible retention so if you want to determine the percent ionization of a weak acid you can see the calculation formula for percent ionization on the left side of the screen so what are the two important factors needed the ph of the mobile phase and the pk of the compound so once you understand these two figures you can easily understand the percent ionization of the given compound so as an example i assume the pk of the compound is 5 you can see on the screen that once the pk of the compound is known to me and i have tried to establish the percent ionization across different ph values at ph 0 the percent ionization would be 0% at ph 1 it will back in 0% at ph 2 it will be 0.1 and so and so forth we all know that in you know, the ph equal to pka you will have the 50% ionization possible you can see over here now at what ph for this weak acid compound i get almost close to 100% ionization you can see beyond ph 7 right ph 7 8 9 10 above you will see the percent ionization is almost near to 100% and there is no possible percent ionization increment beyond ph let us say 9 so at what ph i do get the the percent ionization which is close to 0% you can say about ph 1 or ph 2 or to some extent ph 3 because there is only 1% compound got ionized see these are the two important values i would like to mention over here in case if your ph of the mobile phase is pk minus 2 or below pk minus 2 what is the possible percent ionization 1% 0.1% or 0% so there is a negligible percent ionization at the ph equal to pk minus 2 or below that right so what is the state of the compound now we all know that if the compound is negligibly ionized means the compound is almost into a non ionic state we can call this compound as a non polar compound of its own so from ph 3 onwards we can expect the compound is going to remain into a non ionic and hence into a non polar form and hence the compound is going to have a stronger strong retention time into the reverse phase liquid chromatography just think about like attracts like right and what is the possible percent ionization at ph 7 it is almost 99% so what is the state of the compound if the ph is equal to pka plus 2 or more than that so the compound goes almost into ionization and if the compound undergoes ionization it becomes more polar so we can easily understand that at the ph value equal to or greater than pk plus 2 our compound stays into a polar form and if the compound stays into polar form is going to retain poorly onto the reverse phase liquid chromatography let us uh, try to understand with the help of this diagram 1 and diagram 2 so diagram 1 talks about uh, the ph versus percent ionization for the weak acid and diagram 2 talks about the retention time of weak acid the ph versus retention time of the weak acid so at the lower ph like 0 1 2 or 3 uh, the percent ionization is very close to zero a negligible percent ionization but at the same time you you are going to have the stronger possible retention time if you look at the diagram number 2 
Now, as the pH increases, you can see that oh, there is a drastically or significant increase into the percent ionization according to diagram 1. And at the same time, you will see the significant drop in the retention time of the compound according to the diagram number 2. Now, once the compound reaches to a pH beyond 7, there is no further increase into the percent ionization. And hence, there is also no decrease in the percent retention uh, beyond pH 7. So it has always been said that if you want to have the consistent retention time, if you want to understand the pH window, which will result into a consistent retention time, you should avoid a pH equal to a pKa plus or minus 2. Because in this particular range, you can see the huge or significant change in the retention time with the smaller change in the pH. So always avoid a pH value which is just in the range of pKa plus or minus 2. So which pH value you must decide? Either understand which pH value can help me to give the compound into completely ionized form or completely non-ionized form. In this two particular window range, your retention time will not vary much. Again, what is your expectation? Would you like to retain the compound for more amount? For a weak acid, you can easily understand that the, the pH which is uh, less than or equal to pK minus 2 is the best value. Let us start, try to understand the situation for weak base now. And if you want to understand what is the percent ionization formula for calculating the uh, for the weak base, you can see on the screen. And I have taken the example of let us say pK equal to 5, again the same case for the weak base and this is the percent ionization. So the weak base is always going to get uh, ionized uh, almost close to 100% at the pH equal to or less than pKa minus 2. Okay, so pH is uh, 3 is 99% as pH equal to 2, the compound ionization is 99.9% and so on and so forth. So the weakly basic compound always undergo ionization if the pH is less than or equal to pKa minus 2. But what happens if the pH is uh, equal to or greater than pKa plus 2? the basic compound remains almost non-ionized. You can think of the pH values at 7, 1% ionization. pH 8 is 0.1%. You can see over here now the percent ionization of the weak basic compound uh, in the diagram number 3 and the, uh, the retention of the weak basic compound in diagram number 4. So based on this, uh, which pH range is suitable for retaining the weakly basic compound for longer time? you have to understand in which pH the compound is going to remain non-ionized and that is going to become the pH value which is equal to or greater than pKa plus 2, 7 and beyond. If I change the value of to let us say 10, now can you see the change in the diagram structure also? Hmm? If I make the pH uh, pKa value equal to 2, you can see the change in the diagram accordingly. So by using this particular Excel sheet, one can easily calculate the percent ionization and hence the possible retention. If you want to get this Excel sheet to your email, you can type the name of yours and your email by using the link given in the description. And I will share this copy for you to understand what is the impact of the pKa and the pH, how this retention time and percent ionization gets influenced. Thank you so much.